do you even go about eating ass? You start yeah, making it. out? How, would it, how does any sexual encounter start? Yeah. With alcohol? You... Eating ass, yay or nay? Nay. Yay. Nay. Yay! Can we all agree that you're licking the place where human shit comes from? Already, that's... You're already licking shit everywhere. Have you ever bought a, a soda at a bodega? I don't do Why that. do you think they give you a straw? Because the lid is dirty. With what? Dirt. Do you know there's an acceptable standard amount of rat poop that is allowed to be on soda cans? Or in all of your food? Did you know that? Yeah, but I'm not what going to eat a rat's asshole. Yeah, but you're gonna get some of that regardless. Do you have food allergies? Do you have food allergies? No. Nope. No. You don't have food allergies? No. Do you have food allergies? I don't. Well, do you? I do. I can't have dairy. I can't, can't have, have dairy, dairy because I'm lactose intolerant. I also cannot have kale, broccoli, cauliflower because I have IBS. So same, just casually just munching on some asshole, right? Just sitting on my face, just yum, 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 yum. I don't know what they have that day. What if suddenly their shit is reincarnating into my mouth and I have all this dairy and greens that's gonna inflate my own issues and then I die? Wait, hold on, I have a solution to that. Pick someone who has the same allergies as you and then whatever is and their asshole Where's that is going to be great. App? That's actually a good data app. Mm -hmm. but that was a good idea. Um, but also, whose body is not just processing all of that food? Are you, do you think you're getting just whole pieces of kale? Uh, I'm sorry, have you never eaten corn? Are you allergic to corn? No, but that's whole pieces. Then what's the problem? I'm just saying, why is it this generation that's allergic to everything is suddenly they're munching down on some you're asshole? The only one Are they the that hungry? The I only. think it brings people closer. You know, I think How? intercourse is of one thing. Of course it brings you closer, they're sitting ass, on your ass. Yeah, face. ass eating is like, it's all about trust. So I really feel like it brings people like to another level of trust. It is all about trust. And if it's not good for both of you, uh, mutual trauma is actually a big uniter. Uh, psychologically speaking, there's studies to back that up. That's a true thing. What trust is required for eating ass? Also, I mean, like, you have to know their first and last name. You need to know where they live. You probably need to know what they ate that day. I don't know their diet, obviously, mm -hmm. based on you, what you've said. You probably know so. a family member of theirs. How many asses have you eaten? How many asses have you eaten? Zero. That's a very personal question. That's unfortunate that you've never eaten one ass. That's not on purpose. Weird. So I understand my place in the world is very small. You know, like I know I not everyone has dairy allergies, but what about the person with a peanut allergy that can die at any moment if they have a peanut? Say they're just eating ass, they're really in there, you know, given an oral col colonoscopy, just really up in there, just... And there's a peanut up there, you know, a loose peanut. Haven't you ever shit out a full peanut? So they get that peanut in their mouth, they die. Are you gonna, are you gonna eat ass with an EpiPen on hand? I mean, you can, but why don't you just meet up with someone who has the same allergies as you and has the same diet? It can happen. And then it's actually, that's the best way to like make a pair happen. Yeah, but what happens diet. when you meet at a bar, you're in the moment, you're both a little drunk, you're making out, you're starting to eat ass. You're not like, oh wait, are you also allergic to peanuts? It's like, no, I'm not. It's like too late. The peanut is in the mouth. See, I feel die. like you're, I think you're really, uh, you're leaving out a big chunk of this, which is the, the question. You still have to ask the question. Yeah. You have to say, hey, can I eat your ass? Would you like your ass eaten? Could you eat my ass? By the way, had a lot of peanuts today. You seem Hope like a gentleman, allergic. but most guys aren't really asking before they just ram it up the butt. Poop is not a binary concept. You understand? It's not poop yes, poop no, right? You're, because it's yes 100% of the time. No, but, but it's not a binary concept because there could be a, it is. some tiny poop particles on my hand. Yeah, but, but yes. my body can beat this. But if you go straight to the source, how, how, how do you know do you, you can build, handle that? How else do you think you build an immunity? Medicine. That's what the issue is, is that we're not putting more poop on things and just making it more That is You cannot be issue. serious. We no, should you shit cannot every night have a little bit of poop, and then it won't be an issue. Exactly. We'll be immune to poop. See, you always want to turn to medicine. Mm -hmm. You always want to turn to modern science. All it does is you get super poop. That's how that happens. So what you're afraid of, you're also responsible for perpetuating. So you're just eating bowls of shit? No, 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 no. I think, I think it's like a little, little sprinkle. It's like a Reese's cup. Like, yeah. At most. How many of your partners do you think, before they did that to you or have that done to them, cleaned, shaved, fasted, 
just the basic prep work to, to keep general good hygiene. How many of well, them? Well, one of them was in a jacuzzi. So One was inside of a jacuzzi. So actually, it was kind of like, it was prepping. It was prepping for the ass play. Okay, so that's one, one person one out person. of how many people you've, you know. You I'm know gonna what? say roughly three people I've done it with. Yeah. So 66% of the time, you don't know, this person did no prep work for you. You know what, that's a good point. But to that I will say, we live in 2019. Mm -hmm. It's the future. We have, we have very advanced toothbrushes. Quip, it's a good service that you can get. I'm sorry, you're shoving a $40 toothbrush up your asshole? Okay, you're hearing what you wanna hear. A Look, is $40. Have you heard of baby wipes? I mean, everybody that I know uses baby, baby wipes. Are you just screw, you're just wrapping a baby wipe up your asshole and then just like scooping you it out? Sure. At, nobody ever rimmed their asshole with a baby wipe before. I, that's what I always do. Frequently. How do you even go about eating ass? You yeah, start you making it? out. You start. Well, how how does any sexual encounter start? Yeah, with alcohol. Do you think it's a coincidence that people are suddenly eating ass and measles is back? It's not. So you're saying there's a strong correlation between measles and ass? I'm just saying the growth rate is similar. So, so the you, measles is in the ass, is that what you're saying? So you, I don't you know think what's the, in the ass, that's our whole argument. So you think the New York Hasidic community is eating the most ass in all of this city? Because they're the ones with measles. Is that your final answer? I just want to know. I'm gonna be vulnerable for a second. Uh, I have a thing called inverse psoriasis, which is I get psoriasis in the cracks of my body. So my butt crack is actually, it's like, um, it's like flaky, like dandruff on the head, but in my asshole crack. So if someone were to just go chomp it down on my ass, they would just get skin flakes, like sprinkles, right down their throat, and it's not Pleasant. Again, and that's know. why communication is the key. That the, because of those ass flakes. I now, can't eat wait, ass. I can't get my hold ass. On, hold on, hold on. Wait, I know that you're, you're. I feel you. I feel your pain about the ass flakes. But I feel like <coughs> if you just talk about it more, especially with your partner. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got inverse psoriasis. Then that talking leads to, oh well, what can I do? Can I massage the flakes? Mm -hmm. And then it leads to proper protected ass play and a deeper bond. Mm -hmm. Get a pet egg. You want me to pumice stone my asshole? I mean, you know, if it makes the experience better, then yeah, I think consider it. If it's something that you would like to pursue, I think, there are, I think there are ways to get over these hurdles. You shouldn't let a little <laughs> flakes like stop you from enjoying It's not me, pleasure. it's not me who's stopping, all right? It's, it sounds like you really want your ass licked. It's not that- You're not okay. listening to me. I have a flaky, flaky asshole. My, my underwear right now is full of my asshole skin. So I can't just be like, oh, eat my asshole because I'm asking them to intake my skin problem. No one wants to eat skin. Hannah, this is all about awareness of the ass and ass eating, and it can really be acceptable and help everyone in the long term. I think Sydney's right. I think we can all agree that there just needs to be more education about ass play so that we can all be safe and have fun and most importantly, inclusive. Find you somebody who can eat that flake, yes. Okay, well, I guess we will just agree to disagree. I'm pro eating ass because it actually protects you from cancer, 30%. It protects you from who cancer. Who told you that? Yeah. Who told what you that? What person made you eat their ass to tell, and told you that? I looked it up. Have you read any studies that say otherwise?